What, what day is it? Is, 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 it, is it cooking, cooking with Mr. Dietz and Mr. Wright? Is, is today I've got, I've got to get ready. I've got, I, I can't, I'm not prepared. Here in my house. Hey kids, back at ya. We're at Heeb to get our ingredients for cooking with Mr. Wright and Mr. Dietz. All right, so a highly requested YouTube video getting done today. Heeb. Remember, safety first, wear your mask. Yeah. This is a thing you can buy. He's the real chef. I'm just here as a prop. We're both gonna cook stuff. Yeah. So, long requested video. Um, we hope we deliver. Let us know. You will. This is going to be a surprise cooking video. Yeah. You're going to see what we're cooking, but you won't see the final product till the very end. I hope you guys enjoy. Yeah, I'm not telling you anything. All right, so to start, we kind of have three processes we're gonna do to make our final product. Right, so to start with this recipe, we've got to set out an egg and some butter. Because they need to be at room temperature when we use them. So they're just going to chill out for right now. My cat is chewing on Mr. Dietz's bag. Please stop. Oh, it sure is. He's stopped now. There we go. Butter knives for butter. Yes. Okay. So three tablespoons. It's going to chill. It's going to warm up. But... There we go. Okay, those are just waiting. The next part is, okay, we need to weigh stuff because it's better. So, cooking is a science. Yes, chemistry. Zero out our thing there. 20 grams of bread flour. Fascinating, all right. That's 22, we're gonna say it was 20. Um, okay, it's gonna go into a pan. You're not supposed to pour back, you're supposed to start over. Oh well, okay. 27. We're gonna go slow this time. We're at 26. 27! Yeah. Okay, water also into the pan. Nice. Okay, final thing milk. Uh, awkward. Not spilling the milk, very important. Someone will cry. I'm done. 70, oh, 67, 66. We had a little extra flour, we're gonna call it good. Good. You know what that means. Energy drink break. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. This video not sponsored by energy drinks. Not sponsored. We're gonna wait to, they're probably gonna Okay. Yay! It's it's six thirty and we're just starting, so we, we need we need energy drinks. This is gonna go a long time. Yeah. All right. So Mr. Dietz is stirring our mixture there of the flour, milk, and water. Anywhere from thirty seconds to two minutes. We're just gonna let this thicken up into a paste-like substance. We're gonna help it out with some extra flour because it's not very thick yet. That was necessary and messy. <laughs> Off the heat, but it's still cooking a little oh, bit. Oh, look at that. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna refocus us. Nice, that is about what you want, kids. Okay, so we're gonna kill the heat, give that a couple more stirs, and then we will bring it out of the pan so that it stops cooking and into that bowl. Wow. Wow. So, we've done our first couple steps. We've got the egg and the butter and also the paste that we made and those are going to hang out and this is going to cool off and these are going to warm up to hopefully about the same temperature. Okay, 
Okay, so now mixing up the next step, we need 320 grams of our bread flour. Uh, what we should do first though is the yeasty woods. So 120 grams of milk. Good, which is just over half a cup. We're at 120 grams. We nailed 120 perfectly. Don't look at this. We nailed it. Okay. It needs to be about 90 degrees, so we're in a microwave. 10, 9, 8, 2, 1. Fastest time ever. Okay. Let's find out how warm it is. Stir it up. All right, 90. My man! Wow, 91, 92. Okay, I'm gonna take it though. Introducing the yeast to this, and we need a tablespoon of it. So yeast is alive. It's an active little culture. Um, and so if you use liquid that is too hot, it will kill it, actually, and it won't work. It's alive. So one whole tablespoon of yeast straight in. And then we're gonna whisk that, kind of, to four for tiny whisks. With some sugar. Oh, sorry. No, you're wrong. Keep going? Yeah. Pinch of sugar. I'm um, hungry. Yeah. We're going to let it stand 10 ish minutes while we put everything else together and it will start to foam and get nice and active and the sugar will help it, you know, do its thing. Eat. So that's going to show out over here. <laughs> Eat. <laughs> It's like yeet, but there's no yeet, okay? Um, okay. 320, and we're gonna be very close to actually having 320 grams. I used a lot of this this weekend. Ooh, all right, oh, yeah. I'll, I'll take it, I thought we wouldn't have enough of those. 56 grams, right there. Ooh. All right, you wanna scoop? Sure, 56 grams. 56, call. Yep, nailed it. Salt, we're gonna say, it says three quarters of a teaspoon, but that's weird, so teaspoon of salt. Teaspoon. So that is actually all of the ingredients for the first thing. So uh, we just gotta wait for that to do its magic. So onto your phase two. Yeah. The next thing that we're uh, making here, we need um, only three ingredients. We need sugar, which we've already got. Sugar. We need lemons, which are over there. And we need strawberries. Which are here. Strawberry. Yeah. Two pounds, actually. So oh. bring in the bonus pound of strawberries. Bonus pound. Two. See, your younger siblings can watch this and we'll help them with things like counting skills. One. To education. Look at Mr. Left, do it. <laughs> all right, so we need to cut all of these strawberries, um, or cut the tops off at least. So we'll be using just paring knives, they're just fruit. Be very careful if you try this at home, don't, but also just exercise caution with knives. You know, we are trained professionals. I have both of my thumbs, this one's a different shape, but they're still here. So if you do this, do this, please do this with your parents. Yes. All of this safely. Strawberries are red, they can go in here, and then we'll just get the cops in there. Sounds great. Alright, next we need to juice some lemons. So, we're going to start with one. Use your lemon. See if it's enough. Save the sticker for later, it's my favorite part. Right in half. Um, they're gonna have seeds, so we're gonna strain them through this thingy. So just call the strainer. Yeah. We only need about a quarter cup. Look at the pro over here, one hand destroying the lemon. Wow. Only need about a quarter cup of the juice, and these are large, so we're gonna see like where we're at. Let's see what we got. It's going into this bowl anyway, so I'm gonna say it's okay. Nice. 
That is right at a quarter cup. Oh, four cups of sugar. Because this part of the recipe is the healthy part. Freeze! Take it back now, y'all. How many grams is four cups, Mr. Rance? The world will never know. <laughs> this recipe didn't have grams on it, otherwise we would weigh it. But to be fair, sugar is a fairly uniform, crystalline, whatever, zoom in on that. You can't look at it. Um, except for this piece. Uh, sugar is normally pretty uniform, so it is okay to dose by volume rather than by weight because you're going to get about the same results, typically. Interesting. Yeah, so this is a half cup scooper and we need four cups, so that's quick, quick math. Eight, eight, eight scoops of this. And my favorite game to play is can I keep track one of how many scoops I'm scooping if I'm also talking and doing something else? Two. Wow, that's one cup. Eight. Yeah, that is good. That is most of my sugar. So uh, again, of sugar. It's a healthy recipe. Good. Jumping around. So we kind of paused for a second and did some strawberries for the other, uh, you know, thing we're doing. Back to the first process. This Basically. is our yes yeasty mixture that is now super foamy. I don't know if you can see that, but let's pretend you can. So it's ready to go. So into the bowl of our stand mixer here. Add to that our flour mix. So this is flour, sugar, salt that we put together earlier. Okay, our paste that we made very first. In this bowl. Yeah. Do you know what we're making this? This is right as sneaking past the camera. Okay, one egg. Those come up to about room temperature or close enough to room temperature. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. One hand to break. Cross. Oh! Wow. No shell in there. Promise. Okay. Bring that up. Low speed. This is loud, so we're gonna no audio. But this is gonna mix. Okay, so the dough is nearly together, so we're going to go ahead and add three tablespoons of now mostly room temperature butter that we'll incorporate to the outside of the dough. The butter is almost fully incorporated, so now we're just going to let this work a little bit and knead within the mixer. It's easier than doing it by hand. to take it out of the pan, off the hook, and just form it into a ball. And then it's yeasted, so it needs to rise for hopefully an hour, maybe a little longer. All right, out of the bowl. And this is a little bit tacky because it's got high moisture and there's butter in it, so because a little bit sticky. A little bit sticky, whatever, I think this is right. <laughs> okay, so we just want to kind of form bowl for about an hour it will almost double in size all right dough ready to rise until it's about double my favorite food wrap I'm never running out ever never all right so to proof in a good proofing environment can you open the bottom oven we're gonna slap this bad boy into the oven we're not gonna turn it on though we're just going to turn on the oven lights which will create a little bit of heat That'll put it at about 80 degrees, which will help it rise. So we're gonna start phase three, yeah, of our stuff that we're making. So this only has one, two, three, four ingredients. Wow, four ingredients. Peanuts, and then peanut oil and honey also, and salt, and that's it. So naturally to cook peanuts, we have to go to the stove again. So naturally add one, tablespoon of our peanut oil. Keeping everything peanut based over here. Let's say a tablespoon and some friends. There we go. Okay. Peanuts. Let's 
see how that covers. Alright, that's a little full for this pan, but we'll make it work. Alright, for our purposes today, I'm going to call that good. Here, there we go. And these are going to cool about 20 minutes before we can take our next step with the peanuts. Nice. Our dough has about doubled in size, very nice. So. divide it in half. This is our loaf pan that we're actually going to bake it in. So we're going to roughly kind of stretch this to about the length of our uh, loaf pan here. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it needs to be pretty close. And then same with this guy. We are going to roll out each of these. I'm going to move this one. So a little bit of flour on our rolling pin just so it doesn't stick. And a little bit on the dough. Just a little bit. Don't go super thin here. You want to keep some of the air inside of it that we put there earlier. Right. Doesn't really matter. But this is going to be our final rising chamber and what we bake in. Not bake in, but bake in. Okay, so you're just going to roll this, not like huge or super tight or anything, but just roll it up. And then let it rest on the seam for a second so it kind of seals and it's not this side looks good this side's kind of pudgy it's okay just let it chill same thing here and i put the floury side on the outside and this is going to be the inside as we roll up so again we're not putting a ton of that raw flour into it same kind of rolling there this one got a lot longer <laughs> that's okay okay so now that your oblong piece of dough has magically reshaped itself to be correct we're going to go ahead and place that in the pan well so these two guys are right next to each other now where they need to relax again in our same environment as before in about another hour maybe more we're looking for this to poof up and so these two pieces are going to run into each other and they grow in the center fingers crossed we're back to this is our phase two uh, recipe that we're doing all right so these are strawberries that we trimmed up earlier so mr deets is going to mash them for us Pretty much good, very nice. Show off that consistency. Yeah, all right, cool. So, next step is to take these and the sugar and lemon juice from earlier that's been chilling out over here, and we're headed to the stove. So, Mr. Deeds is adding all of our ingredients to the pot here. Um, and so, this is the strawberries and then the sugar and lemon juice from earlier. So, we are going to stir to combine until everything is absorbed because remember, we put that healthy four cups of sugar into this bad boy. Um, so we got to make sure all of that comes together and the bottom's going to be a little funky because that's where the lemon juice is, but we can grab a scraper if we need to knock that out. How do we look? Yep, that's all the lemon juice. <laughs> all right, so stirring everything together to get the strawberries and the sugar and the lemon juice to be one cohesive thing. So as you can see here, just over the edge of the pan, we have started our boil. Look at that, very nice. So now we're going to let this go almost 10 minutes, boiling, stirring, every now and again to make sure nothing's sticking. All right, so we're very close to our 10 minute mark here. So we're going to test and see if we are starting to get the viscosity, that's your word of the day, that we want. So I'm gonna set that up real quick. What does viscosity mean? So our test to see if this is working or not is we're gonna put a little bit on this plate that has been in the freezer, it's very cold, it's very hot, it's gonna go in the freezer for a minute. So we're gonna come back and drag the spoon through it and see if it stays separated. That'll tell us if we have the d development that we want or not. Okay, so first test here. I'm just gonna take my finger through this and we're trying to see if it runs back together, which it's starting to, but not really. So it's pretty close to what we want. I'm gonna say, we're gonna give that a little bit longer and then test it again and see how we do. If it came back immediately, it would be too thin. This is kind of waiting, but you can see right in the center, it's about to. So we're gonna wait and try again 
Um, let's say two more minutes. We're very close. And there's the plates, and we're gonna drag through. Nice. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Cool. I would say that's good. So I believe this was phase two. Two. Phase two. Phase two is complete and it's canned and waiting for later use. So our next step is going to involve our peanuts from earlier. Back to phase three. Yes. Phase one is still rising in the oven. And we're back. Okay, so two. <laughs> phase two. three. Yeah, phase three. You're right. Phase three. There are two steps remaining to phase three, kind of. So we have our peanuts here from earlier, there's about a pound of them. So we are going to take at this time, and they've cooled back down to room temperature. We're gonna take at this time, um, they're golden brown. Yes. About a third or so of them, and go ahead and add them to the blender here. We are just going to coarsely uh, chop, grind these. They're going to not become like a paste or anything, but they're just going to kind of get crumbled up. So lowest speed and I'm just going to pulse it and see what happens. Sorry, audio. Okay, so I'm going to call that good for what I want texture-wise. So let's go ahead and get those out of there. Okay, and there's some left on the sides and it's going to stay there. Excellent. Rest of the peanuts. Let's try this. I'm surprised it works. That's called a pro gamer. Don't be a potter. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's been said. All right, so rest of our peanuts, and we're going to add for sweetness three tablespoons of honey, rather than sugar, so just to kind of control that a little bit. Honey is it's sugar. Yeah, well, it is, but it tastes good. And it's from nature, just like peanuts. Sugar, no. From nature. No, it's, no. Nope. Don't forget to add your extra peanut from earlier. And then, finally, one teaspoon of salt right in there. This we're going to try and take down to a very fine paste. Um, paste. Maybe, yeah, paste, almost the consistency of like a butter, one oh. might say. And then we'll add back our loosely chopped that we did earlier. Two and three, complete and resting until uh, phase one is complete, which it almost is, so we can put everything together. So our last step, our last two steps, are uh, putting an egg wash over phase one and then baking it. So I'm gonna retrieve it from the oven where it's risen. So phase one has risen, where those two like shapes that we made put in here, now they are like all the way literally over the top and they'll probably rise a little bit more when they bake, ideally. So Mr. Craig, what goes in an egg wash? Egg. but also milk in this case. So uh, let's get both of those things. The purpose of doing that is if we just bake this as it was with no extra you know, frills, it would brown okay, but if you do an egg wash uh, and all of that, it will brown more evenly and it'll have a nice color to it. Um, <laughs> it'll have a nice color to it no. without having to bake super long because if you over bake it, it would burn. So this is going to help us achieve some even coloring on the tops and the sides by adding some egg wash. Egg wash. Action. This dude eats is not crying. Okay, so. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, egg wash. All we need to do is take an egg. This did not have to come up during temperature this time. One hand crack. Okay. Hey, but no shell in the, which is no shell. All right. Boom. 
and then a little bit of milk, not a lot, just a splash, you might say. Okay. Are you going to let Mr. Beats do the egg washing? Yes. Okay, so now Mr. Beats is going to brush that onto our brush item number one. So just dip, brush, dip. <laughs> we are preheated to 350 and we will bake, um, so yeah, we will bake this for, we're going to check it after 30 minutes and we will see what's going on. Alright. Into the oven, let's call it 30 minutes. Oh. We're back. We have all three phases complete. One, two, so, final moment to guess, what are we making? I don't know. No. <laughs> it's peanut butter and jelly from... It's peanut butter and jelly, it's a sandwich. We made all of it from scratch. So, no, we're not seeing <laughs> anything. Uh, so, bread, homemade, which is still cooling slightly. Um, strawberry jam from scratch and peanut butter, crunchy peanut butter. Mind you, because there's you know whole peanuts in there. Would peanuts. you say this is a peanut butter and jam sandwich then? I guess technically yes, peanut butter and jam, not jelly. I guess we can't sing the song. I'll release a video later to explain the difference between jam and jelly. I don't have time right now. Um, here's the second part of this. So we have homemade a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. We are also going to store make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Jam sandwich. Yeah, true. So we bought store bread and store peanut butter and store strawberry jam that's in the that's in the oven. It's, it's right. It's right. Found it. So, oh no. so we bought all of this. We're going to make side by side sandwiches, and then we're going to taste test. But also, we're going to have a blind taste test comparison. Someone who won't know store bought versus homemade, and they will tell us which one is better with science. What? Science. It's a blind experiment. It's scientific. What is your hypothesis? This will taste good. I hope the homemade <laughs> tastes better. I mean, I hope so too. We've only spent most of our lives making it, so... this on the sandwich. It's the same stuff, this is just done. So, kind of convenient actually, but there we go. Um, I'm gonna cut this first, because the other bread's already sliced, because, you know, it's still hot. Nothing better than sliced bread. This is true. What did they say before sliced bread? The wheel. Yeah, probably. All right, so we're gonna go in half first, and I'm gonna try and cut, that's very smooth actually. I'm gonna try and cut about the same thickness over here so that um, one doesn't feel heftier than the other or anything. Look that beautiful bread across section. Very uniform crumb structure, which is what we want, but guys never been on a food show before. So, um, yeah. I was
this is Mrs. Wright, our scientific blind taste tester. So she is going to be blindfolded. Mr. Deeds has the plate of sandwiches over there. Um, so he's just going to bring it in, and we're going to tell her which one to pick up and try, and then she's going to tell us which is better, A or B, and then we'll reveal which was which. So sandwich A, let's say, um, your left hand, let's say right there. That's going to be sandwich A. Go ahead and pick that up and try it, please. Sandwich A. Our dog would like to go outside. That is store-bought jelly. Oh, she thinks that is store-bought jelly. Let's find out. Alright, so that was sandwich A. And as soon as Mr. Deeds returns. Wonderful. Okay. What other comments do you have? Texture? Uh, any other flavors? I love the up. peanut butter. Loves the peanut butter. The bread is white bread. I don't the like The bread white is bread. white bread. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Here is sandwich B. Yep, there you go. Sandwich B.
stay tuned for what we might do next. Yeah.